What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coop and the Coop. And today, man, we got some more Black Desert content. I'm going to show you guys my progression uh, for the last week or two. And I'm going to kind of give you guys some insight on how to plan, uh, make some goals, and prioritize certain things in Black Desert. So, yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like I've it. And i um, focusing on building my DP up and... It's been, been mainly the plan for me after getting my accessory. I got my accessory to pin through Jatina. And then I got my red nose to pin through Jatina. Um, and I got my helmet from Magnus. I bought my gloves. And what I've been slowly doing is just putting Kaffers in them. That's why they're all Kaffers level 4. Then on my shoes, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to probably buy... Um, pin Irrigons out the market after grinding uh, some more Centaur's money and uh, these guild bosses that get some good money too but another good thing I got recently as well towards progression I got one of those remnants of the rift and I did the black star quest for my main hand so I don't have to use my Zarka anymore and that saves me pretty much like 15 billion so I don't have to buy that anymore so yay I'm the marketplace but recently, um, what I've been looking at, and I am broke, don't mind that, but um, I've been looking at current things I can try to flip or sell on the market that I don't need anymore. Um, so I've kind of been planning. So basically, outside of my Centaur's grinds for Agris, I'm going to be grinding at the pot places. Uh, for the HP and MP pot. Um, but other than that, like, I have things I can sell as well that'll net me some good profit. And that'll be like, um, let me show you here actually. So, okay, it's not that. Oh, let me just talk about this. Alright, so. They're going down in price, but I was thinking about crafting some of these and selling them because they were around three million. But they're going down now that a lot of players are going to Veil and they're new, so they're not they don't have a Veils yet, so they've been selling them. So you can see how the prices are and stuff are going down. Even like Centaurs, the belts at Centaurs were like forty mil, literally like. A couple of weeks ago, and now look at them. They're literally like syrup necklaces now. Because all the new players are getting these belts from Centaurs and they're selling them on the market at base. And you can start seeing like how prices and items are trending pretty much on the market. And that's what I've been looking for. Like, just look for stuff that's trending, and you'll see what you need to grind for specifically to get like a few extra silver because another thing I've been selling are these these are pretty pricey they were a little bit more expensive um, but you can see a lot more people are selling them now so you can expect these to go back down because they were lower and now they're you see they're rising in price because everyone needs them to finish the Jatina stuff. So I wouldn't advise selling these if you need them for Jatina. Only sell these if you already finished your Jatina and you want to get some more money. Because you don't want to have to sell something and then buy it back. Same with memory fragments. Like those are gonna be really common at Centaurs because you're gonna be getting those Pila scrolls from the um, you know what I mean. You're going to be getting peelers. These are getting more expensive. But. Like people always need memory fragments. Like they were a little cheaper. Then they spiked. Because people needed them for. The. Boss gears. Because you need a thousand memory fragments. Uh, for your boss gear. Through Jatina. Um. So yeah, that's those are probably one of the two you're gonna wanna keep the most. Um, and don't waste the owner fragments on crafting accessories because I did that. Um, 
yeah, you kind of want to just plan. Don't spend or don't sell things that you're going to eventually have to buy back. Same with these uh, hard and sharp shards. You're going to need a bunch of these um, down the line. Around like, I want to say 60, 70 of them. So don't sell all of them. But if you have like maybe like 100, 200, you can probably do away with a couple of them. Because you do get them pretty often. But I mean, if... If you're tapping a lot of stuff as well, I would keep them just because they're beneficial to have. Um, like your black stones, you're gonna want to keep these because you're gonna need like 18,000 of these. And um, I'm trying to see, these are what you can turn into the Pila Phase scrolls. And if you look, if you ever go to Centaurs, and I've been meaning to tell a lot of people this if you ever go to centaurs and there is like just too many people there like you see like there's three people there in a rotation and then you go to another server and it's filled up and you just can't get a good spot don't waste your time just literally go a little further out go to gahaz it's a little slightly less worth it for money however if you're grinding for certain things like you still get the Pila phase over there. You still get Yona fragments. You still get sealed black magical crystals. Um, and you still get the ancient spirit dust and Kaffir stones, which is really nice. And the Marnie's box is nice too as well if you get it. Because then, if you look, you can see the Kaha seals are almost the same price as the Centaur's trash loot. Literally almost like the same price. So you can make um, around the same money per hour without Agris, but I think Agris as Centaurs is a lot better, like a lot better. So Centaurs is definitely the better spot, but if you need to grind and you're tired of swapping servers and you want the same kind of stuff or same um, drops, then just go to Gahaz. It's right down the street. It is, it is less more money. It is less money overall, but it's not too far off, and you still get, like, the same drops in trash loot. Because if you look at Naga's, 12000 per drop, you know. And I wouldn't even, yeah, I wouldn't even think about going to these other places because they're just too far away. Not worth it. Like, these used to be good spots to go to back in the day but like right now I feel like out of anything on this side that has like the Yona fragments to drop um, I would definitely just stay at Centaurs and then whenever Centaurs overrun just go to Gahaz that way you still like pretty decent money but yeah that's pretty much uh, my progression so far I think the next thing I'm going to try to go for is uh, like I said, getting my Urgons the pin that way I can crack 340 DP and, I and I'll try to get my Black Star to Ted um, in a couple of taps, and that'll be like my next two goals. And after those two goals are achieved, that's when I'll start um, working on my earrings. And actually, like once my pin Urgons are purchased. Um, and I actually I was thinking of doing another Jatina's boss gear, but I think it'll be just better for me to just buy it outright with how much you can make extra from selling the sealed black magical crystals and memory fragments. So I might just do that instead and then just save my money for uh, Tet Bahas or Tet this stuff. But yeah, that was just a little upgrade. Uh, Sorry, update video on what I've been doing on BDO. If you guys uh, have any questions on what to do next or what you should probably focus on, um, just, yeah, just hit me up. Also, if you're tired of grinding centaurs as well, um, just grind for your pot pieces, um, and it and it'll kind of switch up a little bit if you go to different places because there's like six places you can go to for the poppies three of them for the hp pot or it could be more i'm not too sure but i know sharecrons one for the hp pot 
Blood Moon is one for the HP pot. And um, the other one is Forest Renars for the HP pot. I think the MP pot is Mansion, Tashira, and actually not too sure where the last one is. I think it's Okay, it's not that. I have to figure it out. But yeah. Um those pieces for the pot, I eventually think they're gonna hit the market. So if you get one, um, or if you already have one, you know, and you don't necessarily want it, you can always sell it. Um when it when that update comes, that's gonna be pretty pretty expensive too. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing in between my centaurs grinds. It's just doing that. But yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm gonna be dropping some like AOS gameplay as well later on. So yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace. Finally done with that hoe. Uh, 279.